Hey guys, so I am coming at you today with a tutorial on how I do my blowouts. So, as you know, I am a stylist and I have quite a few natural clients. And one of the ways that they achieve that straight, straight, you know, <clears throat> hair full of body is by getting a blowout. So I am a stickler on using less. To me, less is more. The less you use, the more body you will have, the more movement you will have in the hair. So when I do my blowouts, I start from the shampoo bowl. I pick my shampoo according to the condition of the client's hair at the time that they come in. Some people have lots of buildup oil, moisturizers, and things of that nature in their hair, so it is necessary that you always use a clarifying shampoo. Now, a lot of shampoos have polymers, and what polymers do is coat the hair. A lot of conditioners have polymers as well, and that is not what you want. You want something that's going to leave the hair at its most natural state um, without it being dry. So, Nioxin works really well in removing um, things from the scalp as well as keeping the hair really, really clean. Um, I use Ashtay products and Ashtay clarifying shampoo works really, really well. What I find sometimes that I have to do is when I shampoo, I clarify, I shampoo, I condition. If the hair feels a bit heavy, I will clarify once again and get all that stuff off. So the hair is actually conditioned, um, but you're just removing the excess from off the hair. So let me just mention just a few of the products that I use when I do a blowout. Okay. When the client sits in the chair to get it blow dried, I use absolutely nothing. And this works for me. And I always tell my clients when they inquire about it, it's a method to my madness. And if you let me do it the way that I do it, you'll get the results that are guaranteed to keep you happy. Okay, so these are the products that I'll be using. Ashe Silly Gloss is my number one. When I tell you this stuff works miracles on any hair type, it's the number one thing that I use. I also use Gleam by Nairobi, and this is a soft, soft conditioning sheen spray. And I will let you know what else I use it's more towards the end of the video okay so I'm going to introduce you to my client and you're going to see her before um, when you're doing a blowout it's important that you have a good brush now a lot of people round brush I don't round brush I paddle brush and I go through a lot of paddle brushes but it's just my preference Sometimes you can seek out a good paddle brush that will take on the heat that you give and last you a bit of a, you know, a good bit of time. I also invested in a really good dryer. This is a FHI heat dryer. It's from the professional line and guys, it works really, really well. So sometimes it's not so much about what you use, it's about the products that you have. Okay, so... Meet Leash. She's all natural. All right, so Ooh. most importantly, when you're getting ready to blow dry, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get in to the scalp. Take your blow dryer and go against the brush and pull out. Okay, so I'm going to blow dry Leash and I will let you see the results after. I'm all right, guys, so Leash is blow dried. Ah! I know, right? Okay, so... All I've done at this point is blow dried her without anything on her hair. Okay, so it's at this point where I use my Silly Gloss. 
What the Silly Gloss is going to do for me is it's going to tame her hair. Now, obviously, I can't do this and blow dry her at the same time. So, guys, you're not going to see that part. But I'm not going to overuse my Silly Gloss. I'm going to mist it throughout her hair, give it a second to set itself, and I am going to re-blow dry her hair. So, the next thing you will see is her hair that has been blow dried with the Silly Gloss. All right, guys, so Leash has been blown out using only the Silly Gloss. Okay, so when you're choosing your products, you want to use something that won't leave the hair weighed down. Secondly, most important, when you're doing a blowout, guys, this is very very important and I'm using my iPad so excuse the craziness of it all but your blow dryer should do the work not you or your flat iron when it is time to flat iron you should have a smooth working surface it should be as less kinks as possible guys I stress this because you don't want to have to overwork the hair with the flat iron. The hair should be straight and just ready to be smoothed over with the flat iron. Okay, so while I'm flat ironing, it's necessary to have something that you can use because some people hair doesn't work well with less. Some people's hair requires you to use a little bit more. So as I'm working, I use Gleam. And let me show you guys why I like Gleam. I just sprayed it on her hair. And as you can see, her hair does not look super oily. It just gives it that really conditioned look and feel. And it coats the hair, so great. All right, so I'm going to go through and flat iron Leisha's hair. Um, one other thing that may be important is when you're, you're doing your blowout, you want the brush to grab as close to the scalp as possible. Like I said before, use your blow dryer and work out those kinks. Work out those kinks. So your blow dryer should be here and you're working out those kinks. All right, so we're off to the next step. It's All right, just started. so when you're flat ironing, you want to make sure you part out sections. You want to do it section by section because you don't want to, you want to take your time and get through the hair. You need a heat resistant comb because what you're going to do is you part out small sections, guys, and if you want good results, then you're going to have to take your time. And you put your comb and then you follow through with your flat iron. Remember guys, small sections, piece by piece, all the way up. All right guys, section one has been flat ironed. You can see the difference in texture between what's been flat ironed and what has not been flat ironed yet. All right, guys, she's well on her way. It's not weighed down. Still has lots and lots of movement. So now we're on to section All right, two. so leash is all flat ironed, but we're not done. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through her hair, and I'm going to shape it by putting some curls in it. And then these are my last and final steps. So this is Spradiance by Mazzani. And I have a wrap cap. 
and a plastic cap. So once I curl leash shape her, I'm going to wrap her and I am going to use this radiance, just a dime size. I'm going to rub it in my hands really well and I'm going to smooth out her wrap. So let me tell you what the spurdience does for me. Okay, lots of people with natural hair, their ends go kind of fuzzy, especially when you straighten it. What the spurdience does is it pulls it all together. And the reason why I wrap it and put it under the dryer, at this point in the blowout, I don't want any products just sitting on her hair. So what the heat does is it infuses the product into the hair so that it doesn't just sit on there. It kind of just, I don't know, makes it awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to bump her up, wrap her up, and put her under the dryer. The dryer time is about five to eight minutes. What you don't want is your client to start sweating. And because they have the wrap cap and the plastic cap and the heat, it's a possibility that that would happen really fast. So sometimes five minutes is all you get. And basically that's all you need. Okay. All right, so she is bumped under. A lot of people have gotten away from wrapping and guys, wrapping is important, especially at night if you want your, your blowout to last, so okay. So you start with the hair all down and you take your brush and you start brushing in, in the direction um, of your dominant hand. So we're going to the right, or is this the okay. left? Yeah, all right, you guys know, okay. So. I'm not going to so much focus on what's on the top, I'm going to focus on what's on the bottom. So I'm just going to wrap that around. And because she just got a blowout, guys, her hair is really straight, so it's not going to hold. So Leash, can I get your help? Just right there. That's good. Alright, so I'm just going to continue the rest of the way around. And I always tell my clients, the wrap doesn't have to be absolutely perfect as long as the wrap is in there. So like I said, just the dime size of the spurdience. I'm going to rub it in my hands really good. And I'm going to smooth it in. All right, Leash, thank you. Smooth it in. My wrap is full. But like I said, when you, if you did a really good blowout, that hair is not going to stay. It is going to fall. All right, these hands up. All right, that's it. I'm going to take my plastic cap first, put it over. You should hold it. Hold your hand right there. All right. I'm going to take my plastic cap. All right, you can put it over. You can just whirl it around one time just to make sure. And I'm going to take my cap. Put it on like so. And she's going to do her time under the dryer. So Alicia's been under the dryer for about... She's been under the dryer for about a good eight minutes. Alright, so I'm going to finish her up. Please shake it down. Alrighty. She is all done. Guys, look at that. Leash is all blown out. She is good for about how long, Leash? Um, <laughs> quite a few weeks. Two weeks, maybe. Yeah. If she maintains and wraps her hair like she's supposed to. All right, guys. Leash has been bashed. Smile for the camera. Mm-hmm. <laughs>